You know, there's a lot of out-of-town media here I've seen today, and they're here to document the Senate vote on marijuana, which is the final stop before it reaches the governor's desk. And that's just one of the things that's happening in the House that led to a six-hour debate. So I'm guessing this is going to be a late one tonight. Now, earlier today in the House, we saw the passage of the state government finance bill, and that includes something you've heard about before, a change to the state seal and Minnesota flag. The bill sets up a state commission to study new designs and pick one before the next session starts, and then the legislature gets one session to change that design or leave it alone. People have been working behind the scenes on this since the 1980s. Uh, they want a flag that can be more recognizable from a distance. And some tribal nations have raised objections to the current design. Now, Republican Dean Erdahl, who likes the current flag, suggested this one. Purple bottom, yellow top. And in the yellow top, we have goalposts with a football sailing to the left. And if that doesn't reflect Minnesota history, of the last 50 years, I don't know what does. It's high time we have a flag and a state seal that we can be proud of uh, that, are, that are, distinguishing, are distinguishable from other states um, and don't contain offensive imagery. Now, moving to the Senate. Today, they spent six hours debating the Human Services Bill. That's going to increase funding in that area of state government by one and a half billion dollars in the next two years, but Republicans complained that it did not have enough new money for nursing homes. Over 7,400 seniors, or the families of a seniors, are calling a nursing home each month only to be told, we don't have any room. This bill changes people's lives. It creates the autonomy and independence for people with disabilities, encourages choice of care services. Now, I was talking about choice of care services. The same bill gives a lot of new money to like home care for senior citizens and home and personal care for persons with disabilities. So he says that intersects a lot with the nursing home issue. So that uh, bill passed the Senate today, has to go to the House, and it's one of the bills they've got to pass uh, to avoid going into a special session. So a lot more uh, work to do, 